The Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, John Cardinal Onaekon, has called on politicians to play by the rules of the game and obey the Constitution of Nigeria. The Cardinal made this call during his pastoral visit to the Church of the Archangels Parish, Gadua, Abuja. <laughs> As part of activities to mark his 75th birthday celebration, the Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, John Cardinal Onaekon, has paid a pastoral visit to the Catholic Church of the Archangels Parish, Gadua, Abuja. During his visit, the Cardinal confirmed 55 young Catholics. He called on politicians to play by the rules of the game as we prepare for the 2019 general elections. The candidates and the politicians are a very small minority. They should please allow us to, once in four years, freely, without molestation, without intimidation, to express our mind as regards who should go and represent us at a different levels. The parish priest, Reverend Father Ambrose Anene, in his welcome remark, appreciated the humility of the cardinal. Today we are full of gladness. We are happy because we are celebrating three important uh, occasions or celebrations. The first one is that we are happy to have his evidence in our midst. He's our sweet daddy. Yes. It says at 75, God is still ready to take him to greater heights. After the Mass, a brief reception was organized for this August visitor and our chief shepherd. There were musical rendition from various groups in the church to appreciate the cardinal at 75. <laughs> Gifts were presented to him and the 75th birthday cake was cut. Some of the parishioners who spoke to us described the quality of a man so powerful but yet so humble. He's an embodiment of humility. In spite of this knowledge, in spite of the experience, in spite of the exposure, this man remains a humble man of God. Everywhere he has gone, he's preached peace, he's brought togetherness, talked about love for each other, talked about orderliness, he's talked about following the law, due process and all that. These are things that we should emulate from him. His humility, what endears him to everybody is that truly this man, as a young man and even as he started to pastor and to become a shepherd, he had this wonderful attribute of humility. He is a very straightforward somebody, a very humble person, a God-fearing person, and he speaks nothing but the truth at any point he finds himself. So these are all some of the legacies he has left behind for the Catholic faith. He was very committed. He does things in the church that people, it was so evident during his youthful age. And I will want our youth to emulate it because Promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west, but from the Lord. Because of all those things he has done previously during his youthful age, today the Lord has crowned him.